Hi my dear Flustook friends, this is Needle Ninja, welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me for another Stitch With Me video. Today again on a Heaven and Earth design project called Large World Travel Bookshelf by Amy Stewart. Because I'm very much into this project, I cannot put it down. And in this video today I'll be challenging a new way of stitching, new way of parking, a little bit different than I usually do. So wish me good luck and hope we can have a fun stitchy time together. So let's let's not waste any time and let's go for it. Okay, here we go. So today we'll be stitching this little plane. Hopefully we can finish it. Okay, and that's why my split screen will be a little bit different today while I'm stitching. So hope you don't mind. And let me explain that to you how and why I will do that. So let me get back to my pattern. Okay, I think we're good. So, what I changed, uh, no, no, I didn't know, of course, only in this part, because the plane, as you can see, it, till the end, it's like, I don't know, almost 40 stitches in a row. So, and the sky above was all like a blue color, so I was just going like almost 40 stitches with a snake method like this. That's why I decided to do, to continue with this uh, 40, almost 40 stitches in row and using my snake method. So going every uh, odd row, I'm going from uh, left to right and every even row, I'm turning and going back to right, from right to left. And that's why today I'm usually stitching only 20 uh, stitches like here but today I will do this whole part so um, well there's a lot of confetti I think but I would like to give it a try and I will try to continue doing this so yeah let's see how it will go hope you can enjoy so let's start and as you may see now we are in a seventh row of my of this particular block and from now on you just you just can hear all my thoughts and not the thoughts like everything that's going on in my head while I'm stitching so that's it that's all that's all I enjoy while I'm stitching I love to relax so we're starting with the number 3371 it's dark brown and the symbol S and I will do these three stitches I always park my thread in a left low hole and now we will find where to park it so it's four and five from the grid line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. It's next to another park thread. Okay, we're correct. And let me just make a little bit more, more visual these grid lines because in my last upload, you almost couldn't see these. Well, I can see them clearly, but in a video, they are not so clear. So let me just grid a little bit here. Oh, I just made a mistake. Okay, let's ignore that. Okay, and there's one too. And I think you can see it better right now, right? So I really need these lines. They keep me sane and they keep me correct. So I think we're good. Okay, let's continue. So let's mark these. Another color is color 310. It's a black one and 
looks like there is only one and so I will end it and I'm ending my threads like 10 something close below leave a little tail and snip it off so let's mark him okay next one eight to three and I was always wondering like I saw many stitchers like starting the whole first row like from the stitch number one to stitch I don't know like if there is a 900 stitches they will go and really it was kind of intriguing for me so now we need to okay come here but can you see there is a little tail of my ended thread oh that's in a different hole so let's ignore it okay I will so this one I will stitch this one and there is another one behind the grid line here but well do I want to do him let's do him and it will be the last stitch I will do in here and then I will park here okay so looks like moving my threads or parking my threads over the like 40 stitches in a row will be a little bit too much pulling the threads long threads behind the fabric so after we stitch this I will show you the back of my fabric and I'm also would like to know how it looks okay so next one will be in a next grid and it is it's a third row so we stitch it from uh, left to right one two three and four one, two three four okay so here I will park this color there that's it so looks like that's a tail of the plane we are stitching now so another one and on the red line and then in the next row one two here Next color seven seven nine, and the next one is right below, so I will park it because there is no stitch above so after I stitch this guy I can go back but so next one three seven nine nine and there is a one here and because there are stitches above I will do these two here and here and then one below just park so these three are done and park okay new color in every every hole so very detailed here okay come on and mm, what's going on oh what is here what is this why when this happens what is this oh I catch my threads okay okay cool down this is good one and now I have to rethread the thread here from the back so little accident and we're good row 
one, two, three, four from the grid line. Okay. Just let me recheck because there was a little bit panicking there. So is this a color? Okay, it's correct. Right. The next one. Hmm. did a mistake here it's one two three okay so the first one I did I did wrong I miscounted so let me take it out so that was actually the, the, the hole where the thread was showing was the correct hole so hope you can see there is a thread showing so it's my ended thread so what I will do one two what I will do in this case I will start am I correct this is so difficult to see so I will start it from a right top hole and I will try to push this ended thread. Why is it so fluffy? Okay, see? And I will just try to push it down and just twirl the floss while pulling the thread down so it will hide behind. Okay, that's good. Now let's make let me do these two stitches so we found our mistake that's cool we correct our mistake that's also cool so we can continue hopefully correctly and one more time this push and I will stitch it here line I will park so this one is parked and here we go okay a lot of color 939 that's the sky color that's the color which was I stitching above okay so till the end of the grid line and then we will bump into that first stitch we did so I'm going wild no I'm not going wild I'm going wide with my snake method 40 stitches that's something and, but really I don't hate it I, I think it's for this particular part, I'm really looking forward to see it complete as soon as possible. So, <clears throat> excuse me. stitching from right to left and there is four one two three four we can make this line and I think we can oh no we will not do that so okay I can stitch these seven stitches but because you see the next symbol is here and it's also here so my thread will be you know like hanging behind so that's why i want to cover it with a um, thread that's why i will just stitch here park there and work in the next row 
so in that case in in that way my thread will be covered under sometimes if i can find that kind of things i will try to do sometimes i totally ignore it so depends on your mood depends on well my mood but now i i can see it so i will try to cover my threads under my fabric as much as possible so now see this will be last one here and then I will pull my thread and go here so so now you know that this will be covered okay and park so we did this great and now we can continue with this color And again, <clears throat> three from the grid line. I can stitch it because there are stitches above, but again, the same thing. Two stitches of a different color here and then here. So I will just park it in this case. Okay. Next one, three, seven, five, zero only one in here and where is the another one it's here so yeah why not stitch it it's kind of short thread I should save it but I can see another stitch here and here so yeah why not do that anyway my thread will be I will need to cut it so or end it one, two, and sorry, hey, here. So these are done. Great hearts, two hearts. B is one. <clears throat> one under and because it's you know like a little difficult to stick the needle there for me I don't like to do that so I will just park okay next one row one two three four because we are stitching from right to left so that will be my first park thread this one is done also okay there are a few stitches of this color in here so yay three more over the grid line and then here okay okay color 931 is the last one in this block next one is in fourth row and 
five stitches from the grid line so one two three four and because it's the only stitch in that row i don't care if it's from right or left and one two three four five so correct one two three hmm? one two three Really, I cannot count with my finger, I need my needle. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Mm -mm. Mark. And mark. Good. Oh, we don't have this color. What is it? 800, 801. Where are you? Okay. This is the one, 801. I hope you don't mind me talking like this. This is actually how my brain works when I'm stitching. I put everything, I turn myself off business-wise and actually family-wise too, I think. So I just... This is really my kind of meditation and all I concentrate is on my stitching. So now I'm off and I'm happy. <laughs> so please bear with me. This is what makes me more comfortable, most comfortable. Just going through the holes Finding, finding the right color, making, creating some beautiful picture. So now we are in a ninth row. We're going from left to right and continue four from the grid line. One, two, three, four. Next stitch is here. So we're continuing stitching the stitches in this row. No more here and park here, okay. Done. I think we can finish this color in this grid because, well, there are stitches above and there is, that's the only part with this color. So I will do this three and then in the tenth row the last three and I will park my thread in the next grid the second. Okay, so we did this. Let's go for color 779. Kind of a lot of stitches for this area. I don't count how many now, I will just count how many I stitched, how many I need to stitch over the grid line. So. You can see that there is two over the grid line so i'll do from here i will go like okay one two and next one on a grid line no more in this row and first one so we can finish this color also till the end of the row this okay I, can, I think we can go continue doing let, let me just mark we did this and this one and we continue working with the same color <clears throat> because we can and because there are stitches above so and it 
it's easy to see nothing's in a way but as you can see there are two stitches of the grid line which these this one they does they don't have a stitch above so I will just end this color on the grid line and park the thread in the next hole like this okay this one so continuing in a ninth row <clears throat> three stitches in this line three behind the red line am I correct yep and one on a grid line on red line in the tenth row done and done heart symbol two in here one on the red And three behind the red. Great. Mm. Excuse me. So we can do all these three four stitches because well I will do that I don't like to you know like pull my threads but in order to get it a little bit faster and we can actually do this one the next in the next grid here and let's do them both and this thread is really short Anyway, I will park it in a fourth row, so it's one, two, three, four, one, two. Here, maybe we can use it still. So this is done. for me but again I'm going to pull them and do them and next one is next to the guy we just parked so it's here right yep oh no 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 it is because it's in a fourth row so we need to park it here because we're going from right to left. Okay, blue colors. Blue colors. Oh, I hope I can finish this plane today. And one, two, three, four. Four and five till the end. Okay, and in the fifth one, two, three, four, five. Let's do these two and park. Okay, we can finish this color in this grid, so. <clears throat> I 
I will go with this thread till the end. And because I don't want to pull, and I think, let me just check this color. Oh, it's not needed anymore, really. Okay, so this is kind of long thread, which I need to cut, but I like to save my long threads just on one on one of my thread, um, what is it, organizers, and I'm doing some, well, I don't have so much time, but sometimes I take those kind of short threads and just stitching, just in a like circle or square or and I really enjoy it and it, it's kind of looking, start to look good. Maybe next time I can show you. <clears throat> so, save this guy and mark these guys. Great, and the last row in this grid. 150, I love this color. This is so beautiful color. I will ignore those two behind the grid and I will just do this, park it in the first row. So what do you think about doing 40 stitches in a row? Well, I'm definitely it depends on the pattern and that that particular part in the pattern. So actually this one I don't hate, but just for this plane. After it will be stitched, I will go, I will happily go back to my 20 stitches in a row. Well, well why? Maybe because I can see the progress a little bit faster. I don't know. Sometimes, really, I would like to try that one row, first one row with all the colors there is needed. It could be fun, but maybe a little... Well, I don't have a big Q-snap or stand, so maybe that's a good way of stitching when you have whole pattern like stretched on the bars and you can see it. You don't have to like hide it behind the Q-snap, so... Maybe too many threads hang around, so... Yeah, let's just keep it like this for now for this part only and my thread is really too short and I'm not good with it so yeah let's cut him bye so we did all of these no no my pattern keeper is striking I want a uh, Oh, I 
forgot this one. See, another green color. On the last video I told you I'm something, something about these green colors makes me make mistakes. I don't know, what is it? So be careful with this one where you park it. It's fourth row on a grid line. One, two, four, good. Recheck. One, two, three, four, okay. <clears throat> I will be finishing this row pretty soon. That's great. Hmm, and this one is different place, right? Mm -hmm. So, this is a correct move. I can do these three, two. Sorry. So I have, I can correct my parking mistake, but first, ah, that was the color I checked, right? 3860, right? Where are you? Here. Okay. So just a different hole. So this is good about <clears throat> this parking way that I really can find my mistake right after. Almost. And two, one, two, one, two, here. Okay, we keep, keep going. <clears throat> Looks like only one. Only one of him. Let me check. Yep, only one, so I will end it. And in a fifth row, second from the grid line. So it's <clears throat> it's one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, because odd row start from left to right, and two second one is part thread. So I'm correct, <clears throat> hopefully. mistake one two three four five what is this one two three there should be one more stitch mm, something went wrong and I already don't know when and I just said that <laughs> my mistake very fast with this one but well sometimes I don't but in this case really I don't care because these are all the same colors so this is what I need to do is this is the part thread which I need to stitch one more This color is also crazy for me today. Oh, okay, this is mistake which nobody will notice and it will not make me 
uneasy because, well, one stitch, it's nothing. Now, one thing is, one stitch is everything, but in this case, who's gonna know? Nobody. So three here. One, two. Last one in this in this row. Do you think I can continue stitching? Because I don't know. I cannot see my timer now. We're already stitching kind of long, right? So let me go a little bit more. One, two, three. And see how far we can go with the next grid. so much confetti or no I don't think so right okay that will be that and let me move my let me just mark these and let me move to another grid line okay yeah good so I can continue and I will with this color three more in this moment I will do this too because there is no more stitches on this side and this will be the last one so I don't have to pull this is really just sometimes really sometimes I do that I'm trying to stick with my routine so and because when I do these kind of things I I miss mark so that's why I'm going to mark it right after and continue stitching and I can no I will not see oh, I'm trying to going crazy I was going to stitch this under but there is already this thread in a hole and it will be difficult and no so calm down and keep doing what you understand row again in a sky area no no maybe because I want to finish this plane I will ignore this sky and maybe come back to that later. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What do you think? Because. in a ninth row so it's a three one two 
One, two, three. From the red line, right? Am I correct? One, two, three. One, two, three from the red line. Good. And these are all done. <clears throat> so let me work on my plane for a while. Let's start. Let's ignore the this one. Let's pull this thread behind my needle minder and let's go with the plain part. <clears throat> Definitely the tail of the plane. Oh, maybe we can finish it together. Let's go, let's go. Okay, going to do different things. Going to do it like, like this. Because it's like beautiful square. Well, not square, but anyway. So I'm really going white and wild with this part. And one more. And now I will continue in the First row, no, this is already second row. Three of hearts. And one, two, three, fourth row means I will park it here. Great mysterious color be careful one two three and here and one more let's park it okay no more like no more of this color and this is also long thread so <clears throat> let me keep it for my <clears throat> project of waist thread threads no 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 okay why I have this thread park in here when it's third row well again mistake made and i think i made this mistake while, while stitching with you so miscounted but okay let's not care let's stitch it even we should go from left to right but nobody will know And because there is only one one symbol in the next next row, which doesn't matter from which side we stitch it, so it's cool. No, 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 no. What am I doing? Okay, great. So third row, stitching from left to right. Oh, and plane is coming. Little bit more. Move it, move it, move it. Great. Now what? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here. Nice. 
up think and one there's a lot of going on so just let's park that okay 779 line let's go too short but still can make it I think okay I like this color 966 Number symbol number seven. And that's it for this one. Careful not to cut bark threads. Okay, what do you think? We will this one is blue one, right? So nothing but do. So we actually came back to the twenty stitches in a row I think <laughs> so naturally and wait 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 this is one two three <clears throat> so yeah it was an interesting start but the plane doesn't need more than 20 stitches so in a row so <laughs> Cool. And next to the park thread. Oh, this is really, really short one. So let me do these two. Hmm? Why is this happening with this one? What? Hmm. Two, three, four, five. So, see. Oh, come on. This number. Does it never happen to you? These kind of things, like particular one color is just missing your head and everything around now this is just one wait one two three four come on come on come on, come on, come on. i should do this one two three four no not here uh, what am i doing wrong This one is parked wrong. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, this is messing my head. This color is in a wrong place. Let's go back to 
this one which is not there but one more hole to the left This one, this one gave me a lot of pain, so okay. But we are in a fourth row, so calm down, me. is messing my head this is done oh highlight highlight wait a second okay it looks like I'm starting to make a lot of mistakes so I think it's something's telling me that it's time to stop that's why I will just Finish maybe this row. Oh, why not make him? Let's do this and in you know a what? The next. But I will continue stitching with the 20 rows, so I will ignore this this part. That's why I will park my thread in this 20. Throw, so it's four from the grid line. One, two, three, four. Here. Okay. That's it. Okay. Guys, let me finish this row and then maybe I will take some pictures of my completed plane. Hmm. Yeah, I will stitch even this. No, I will park it there. Because I would like to finish my sky together with the plane. So, oh, I have to finish this today because I will forget what I was trying to do and what was the plan. So, yeah, time to... Time to stop the video recording and concentrate of more on what I'm doing. One, two, one, two, three. First lost two friends. Hope I didn't bore you, or how do you say that? Hope you can have fun with me today too. Well, little of a new challenge, not so much um, something outrageously new, but yeah, something I never did, and it was fun. But I'm try I'm starting to make a lot of mistakes, so. Let me just cut my video and come back. Maybe I will put the time lapse or some pictures in here so you can see this beauty finished. And thanks for watching as always. Thanks for your comments and love to hear from you now and then. And well, let's just have a beautiful day and happy stitching everyone. Love you. Bye.